Hello everyone, this is Angel with Angel Spiritual Messages and this is going to be a collective love reading for the month of June for the sign of Gemini. Um, Spirit, if you would please provide me with clear and accurate messages for the collective. Keep in mind, reverse the roles as need be. Cross watchers, you are always welcome. Um, and if it doesn't resonate with you, please check your other placements and some all or none may apply but we're going to go ahead and get right into it spirit please show me the messages for the greatest and highest good look the cards are not wanting to cooperate let me shuffle once more show me the messages for the greatest and highest good for the sign of gemini what do you have for the sign of gemini in love for the month of june spirit is saying one more shuffle Duality. So it is going to be very important that duality um, be present in the current moment for you with regard to romance. Um, this is going to be card number 11. So you have to be um, in both your masculine and feminine energy. It is going to have to be very balanced on both sides in order to be successful um, with regard to love in June for yourself. Let's go. What else do we have for the sign of Gemini? That is angel number 11. Please check that out. Message of love. So it looks like there's going to be a message of love that is going to be um, popping up for you um, with regard to the month of June. That's angel number 34. Please look that up. Some of you have uh, someone in mind. Some of you guys are already dealing with someone and it has not moved to the level of commitment that you would like it to, but a message of love is coming in for you. Um, balancing your um, actual masculine and feminine, feminine, uh, masculine and feminine energy is going to be very essential in achieving, achieving this message of love as well as your spirituality and practicality so please make sure that you are in harmonious alignment with yourself um, give me more and then message of forgiveness so there may have been some discord or some difficulty um, in your current situation with the person that you are um, thinking about or watching this reading for but there is going to be a message of forgiveness either you're going to give this message or this person is going to um, deliver this message. And then at the bottom of the deck, I have lost angel number 18. So please look up angel numbers 11, 34, 40, and 18. So there has been a loss. There may have been a separation. There may have been a divorce. They may have been um, ghosting or um, a situation may have ended, but it looks like things may be turning around for you. Let me get more messages for your greatest and highest good. Spirit, if you would please provide more insight for the sign of Gemini with regard to love. I will go ahead and get the tarot out, guys, as well. And we are going to figure out exactly what is happening. But I want to get you the messages from Spirit so that you understand um, from a higher level of perspective what is happening. Show me more and one more shuffle. I have uh, vulnerability and freedom. So you're going to have to be um, vulnerable in this situation and you're going to have to um, free yourself from some things that have been holding you back. Maybe there's a bad temper or maybe your person has a bad temper. Someone is not being vulnerable and setting themselves free in this situation. Someone is holding back not only how they feel, but they are being um, in a point of a stalemate position with showing their vulnerability. Um, this person may be struggling with being free with you about how they feel and what they expect or what they want, or maybe that is you in the situation. Show me more. Ease and grace. Ease and grace is going to be necessary in order to get this person to open up or for either you to open up. Ease and grace is going to be the key. So take things easy. Talk to your partner 
and be very kind in doing so. Be loving and be easy and graceful in your attempt so that you can bring this situation into balance because um, duality is definitely needed, which is going to be balance. Um, show me more. Yes. So spirit is saying, yes, this is the situation um, that is for you. Um, but these adjustments have to be made in order to put this um, relationship or situationship back in alignment, whether it's marriage, engagement, situationship, or romance, or I mean, or relationship, whatever it may be. It may even be that of a dynamic of a friendship. Either way, spirit is saying balance needs to be restored. Um, someone has to be more vulnerable and free and open with expressing themselves. And another person has to be patient with ease and grace. If you can do that, then yes, the situation will turn itself around. Honesty and communication is going to be the founding factor in bringing the situation back together. So you have to learn to communicate with your partner and your per partner has to learn to communicate with you. Show me a little bit more. Show me more for the sign of uh, Gemini. What else do you have for the sign of Gemini with regard to love spirit for June 2023? And two more shuffles. And one more. All right. We have wisdom. You guys are gaining wisdom with regard to this. The divine is speaking to you in a form of a dream or um, daydreams or in visions. Wisdom is being obtained. This is angel number five. So please look that up because it may be of a great significance to you. Um, so wisdom is being developed as you go through this transition of you and your partner starting to become vulnerable and open up and be free and the other person showing ease and grace, it is going to create wisdom on how you guys can be harmonious in the situation. Okay. Also transformation. If you do this, this is clearly going to bring in transformation for the situation for you and this person that is angel number 13. It is going to shift the full dynamic of this relationship and turn this relationship into something that you truly want at the bottom of the deck, passion ignited. So once you make this shift and this person makes the shift that they need to make, then the passion will be ignited. If the flame has burned out, spirit is saying, do these things, be honest in your communication, gain the wisdom, make the transformation and the passion will be restored. Um, spirit, if you would give me a few more messages for the sign of Gemini, and then we'll get into the tarot. <coughs> Excuse me. All right. What do you have more messages for the sign of Gemini spirit for June, 2023? What messages do you have for Gemini? Okay. Angel number 31, take control of your thoughts. Your thoughts are creating your reality. Have faith and stay focused on the outcome that you deserve. Spirit is saying you want the situation to change. Your person wants the situation to change, but your negative thinking and that you will never be able to obtain um, this um, balanced situation with this person is just not true what you think you will have. So manifest positive thoughts. <coughs> Excuse me. If something negative pops into your head, shift your focus and bring it back to center in a positive state. If you think of something negative, say, you know what? I rebuke that all is well. That is how I bring myself back to a state of being centered and grounded in staying in high vibration. If I think it, I say, I don't know why I thought that because that is not true. All is well. Things are good. So learn to be able to control your thoughts and keep them positive and keep your vibration high so that this transformation can come into um, existence um, with this situation with you and your person. Next, angel number 16. It's almost over. 
your current challenges will soon be resolved and you will be able to look to the future with a smile. Spirit is saying you guys are going to be able to overcome this. You both are wanting this and you will be able to put um, the work in to turn this around. There is a loss here. And if you look at this loss card, there are tears coming from the eye of this card. You and your person are very much grieving um, the discord of the situation. And spirit is saying that you both hold the power. You are dealing with someone who truly wants to make this situation change and shift for the better. Show me one more. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I'm having sinus issues and I'm trying to get through these readings because I know that they're going to help you guys. Angel number 38. Yes, you are correct. So if you thought that, hey, I want to stay in this situation and work it out, angel number 38 says, yes, you are correct. You have listened to your inner guidance and made a wise choice. Keep moving forward. You're going to have to keep making the changes in order to bring about this transformation in this situation, but it is here for you. And spirit is saying that um, it is in fact something you can achieve, you and your partner. Angel number 22, open your heart. <coughs> Excuse me, guys, because I think with the difficulty that you guys have been going through, Spirit is saying, open your heart. No one is perfect. Stop judging yourself and others and let love heal this situation. Spirit is saying healing is the best medicine and the best um, way to combat confusion, discord, and um, trouble. Open up your heart and allow your heart to shift this situation so that you can reignite this passion. I'm going to go ahead and get into the tarot. Spirit, if you would, for the greatest and highest good, please show me the messages for the sign of Gemini and love for the month of June. 2023, Spirit says one more shuffle. And then we can go ahead and get started with the tarot. I see the seven of ones on the split in the reverse, which means that there may have been some betrayal in this situation, but that is over. This person is wanting to try to um, rectify the situation with you and um, rebuild a new. Show me more. What is going on in love for Gemini? the emperor. So you are in your emperor energy. This is Aries energy. You are bossing up and you are taking charge. You are having this conversation, um, with this person. Um, and you are willing to give forgiveness, um, because this person is coming in with a message of love. This person wants to try to work this situation out. They see that you are a boss. They know that you're not going to accept anything less than the truth the whole truth and nothing but the truth in order to work the situation out and that you guys are going to have to be on one accord or you're going to abandon this situation. Show me more. I have the Knight of Cups. This person is going to come in with a love offer um, with the Emperor energy. You may be dealing with in um, Aries and then with the uh, Knight of Cups a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but you don't have to be. This person is coming in to offer you their love. And this is a sincere um, message of love and apology. Show me more. And I know you may not think that right now, but that is in fact the case. I have the Ten of Pentacles in the upright. This person wants to renew the situation and bring a lot of stability, not only financially, um, but in love and in um, family and the true dynamic of this relationship. They are wanting to um, establish this true and solid foundation that you guys may have once had. And it is just something that they have been thinking about for quite some time. Show me more. I know you are in a state of saying, when is this going to be over? Well, spirit is saying, you have this situation. There are things that you have to do to bring it back into balance, but you guys are both strong enough to do so. Um, also hermit, someone went into hermit mode and they seeked the, the, um, 
direction of the divine in order to understand what was required of them. And I believe this is your person. If it is not, please reverse the roles. This is Virgo energy. So you may be dealing um, with a um, earth sign, a Virgo. Show me more. This person has learned um, their lesson. The divine has guided them on what they need to do. And that's why they understand duality, the message of love and the message of forgiveness is going to be very essential um, with this situation. Show me more. The uh, King of Pentacles. So this person may be Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but they're very solid and stable and grounded financially. And they want to share this abundance with you with the Ten of Pentacles. They want you guys to be this power couple. They saw it in the beginning when they embarked on this relationship with you and they are not willing to let this go. And I don't think you are either. Show me more. The um, Five of Swords. So this would have been past energy. And I think this person may have um, put you in a point of being um, turned off to working the situation out because at one point this person was in a, excuse me, negative energy of wanting to win at all costs and it may have jeopardized this relationship. And now uh, this person has went into hermit mode and realized that they were the cause of this situation and now they want to redeem themselves. They have learned their lesson. Show me more. The six of cups. This is someone from your past who is wanting to come in and try to restore balance in this situation. Show me more for the sign of Gemini. What else do we have? The Empress. So I have the Emperor and the Empress. This is a divinely guided connection. Spirit is guiding you guys because they're dealing with two very solid, stable, um, committed people who know how to run an empire and who works really well together. Some of you guys um, may be dealing with the Taurus or Libra with this Empress energy. Um, and there may be a pregnancy here as well. This may be a married couple. And if not, then it is definitely divinely um, guided connection with the six of cups. This is more like a soulmate energy, a divinely guided soulmate connection. You guys have not been able to let each other go. And that's simply because your mission and expectation from the divine is that you guys get to a common ground with each other and that you learn the lesson of working things out and that you let go of your pride and ego on both sides and that you implement vulnerability um, and freedom and that there is grace and ease and that you guys have developed some wisdom with regard to this situation. Show me more. <coughs> Three of swords. Um, there was heartbreak here. This person may have introduced a third party to the connection for some of you and some of you, they did not. It just felt like this person was no longer on your side with the five of swords, which made you feel like you were in it alone. Well, um, that heartbreak um, is here and spirit is saying that that will be uh, transformed in this situation. Um, show me more. The five of cups, someone is very, very saddened by this situation. Either it is you or it is your person. It could be a combined energy. You both are very saddened by how this situation has turned out. Now, what I'm going to do is figure out if you would spirit, please give me the potential outcome with regard to this situation for the sign of Gemini and their person. Um, if they do the work, show me exactly what will transpire between Gemini and the person that they're watching this reading for. And as I stated, guys, please reverse the roles. And I would appreciate it if you would like, comment, share, and subscribe um, to help my channel as I would like it to continue to grow so that I can share messages with others that need to hear these messages.
and I greatly appreciate you guys. Let's see. The Eight of Swords in Reverse. You are coming out of your head and so is your person. You guys are seeing this for what it actually is. You're listening to the divine and you are releasing yourself of this self-imposed imprisonment of mind um, games that you are playing with yourself. You're letting the ego go and you are starting to operate from that heart chakra. Death, the end of an old situation and the rebirth of a new. This is Scorpio energy. You may be dealing with the Scorpio, um, but you don't have to be. Um, two of Cups. This person is your soulmate. I have the Two of Cups and the Six of Cups that says so. So I also have um, at the bottom of the deck a Ace of Cups. So that means that you guys have a lot of love and you are going to be able to restore this connection. Okay? This is what I have for you, Gemini. I hope it brings you peace, clarity, and direction. Please take care. Implement this in order to bring this back into balance and you will have a prosperous, very successful situation. Take care. I hope it brings you peace, clarity, and direction. I love you guys. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Personal readings are open in the description box and I will see you on the next one.